When you are ready to insert your sensor, gather the following supplies. An Enlight glucose sensor, the one press serter, sensor overtape, a Guardian 2 link transmitter that has been fully charged, an alcohol wipe, a Sharps container. Wash your hands before you begin. Clean the insertion site with alcohol and let the skin dry before inserting the sensor. Do not use any other product or tape on the site before inserting the sensor. Open the Enlight glucose sensor package. Remove the sensor from the package by holding the plastic pedestal. Do not hold it by the sensor or needle housing as this could damage the sensor. Place the sensor with pedestal on a clean, flat surface, such as a table. Hold the serter so your thumb is on the thumbprint. Be sure your fingers are not touching the green buttons on either side of the serter. Carefully, push the serter down onto the sensor and pedestal until the base of the serter sits flat on the table and you hear a click. Do not push the serter too hard onto the sensor as this might cause the sensor to load improperly. To detach the serter from the pedestal, be sure your thumb is still placed on the thumbprint and you are not touching the buttons. Place two fingers on the pedestal arms, holding it in place, and slowly pull the serter straight up. Do not detach the pedestal in midair. Doing so might damage the sensor. After the pedestal is detached, the sensor remains inside the serter. This step also removes the adhesive liner from the sensor. Place the base of the serter flat against the site that you prepared. To insert the Enlight sensor, be sure you are holding the serter securely against your skin without pushing it in too deeply. Press and release the small bump on both green buttons at the same time to automatically insert the sensor. It is important you hold the serter securely against your body while you do this step, as the serter may spring back after pressing the buttons, resulting in improper insertion of the sensor. Do not pull the serter away from your skin yet. Continue to hold the serter against your skin to allow time for the adhesive to stick. Then, slowly pull the serter away from your skin, making sure you do not press the buttons while doing so. With one hand, gently hold the sensor by placing one finger on the front of the sensor and one finger on the sensor connector to ensure your glucose sensor stays in place. Be sure you do not hold or pinch the sides of the sensor. With the other hand, hold the needle housing at the tip and slowly pull straight out away from the sensor. The needle automatically retracts inside the plastic needle housing. Discard the entire piece into a sharps container. Carefully, remove the adhesive liner that is located underneath the curved adhesive pad. Press the adhesive against the skin. Now, flip the adhesive tab so that it lies flat against the skin, but do not remove the adhesive liner just yet. Next, you will need to apply the overtape. Because the sensor is small, it is important that you apply the overtape that came with the sensor. Applying the overtape can help prevent the sensor from pulling out of the skin. The first step is to remove the large paper backing marked with the number 1 from the overtape. Do not remove the two smaller tabs on the sides of the overtape just yet. Hold the overtape by the covered ends and apply one side of the overtape so that it covers both the round part of the sensor and the skin securely. Make sure the tape is covering both the skin and the sensor. Then, stretch the remaining part of the overtape around the sensor connector so that it sticks to the adhesive pad but does not block the sensor connector. Smooth down the tape that was placed on the skin, then remove the two paper tabs marked with the number 2 from the sides of the overtape. Press the remaining overtape against the skin. To connect the transmitter to your sensor, remove your transmitter from the charger and watch for the green light to flash. With one hand, hold the sensor in place. Hold the transmitter with your other hand and push it onto the sensor. It will click when it is connected. The green light on the transmitter will start flashing within 10 seconds. It will flash for a few seconds and then turn off. If necessary, use a mirror to see the green light. If the green light on the transmitter does not flash, 
disconnect the transmitter from the sensor and place it back on the charger until it is fully charged. Then reconnect the transmitter to the sensor. Once the transmitter is connected, remove the adhesive liner from the adhesive tab, fold the adhesive tab over, and stick it on the transmitter. Be careful not to pull the adhesive tab too tightly. Now you need to apply a second piece of overtape to the sensor and transmitter. To apply the tape, remove the paper backing marked by the number 1. Hold the overtape by the covered ends and position it so it is oriented the same way as the first piece of tape. Now apply one side of the overtape so that it covers the center of the transmitter and apply the other side of the tape directly on your skin. The hole in the center of the tape should expose the back of the transmitter. Smooth down the tape on your skin and transmitter. Finally, remove the paper backing marked number 2 and press the remaining overtape against your skin. Before you insert a new sensor, you will need to remove your old sensor. Peel the adhesive tab off the transmitter. Disconnect the transmitter by pinching the flexible arms of the sensor with one hand and pulling the transmitter away with the other. Now, peel off the transparent sensor overtape. Next, loosen the sensor adhesive by lifting up the adhesive tab. Remove the sensor from your body. Discard the sensor in a sharps container.